Hey guys, this is Roman with Lexus South Point here in Edmonton. I got 2021 NX and 2022 NX here in front of me. I just wanted to do a quick video of them side by side so you guys have an idea how they look like. So 2022 NX is a little bit bigger in every dimension. That's what Lexus states. Um, so we got a little bit taller, longer, wider car. Also as much as the wheelbase as well. 2.4 liter, four, uh, 275 horsepower engine for the new 22 NX and 235 horsepower for the 2021 NX. It was a four cylinder, of course, as well. Uh, for 2022, we got a eight speed automatic transmission. And for 2021 and older, uh, we got six speed automatic transmission. So small difference, but still a difference. Uh, definitely noticeable in the fuel economy in general. So this is how these guys look like. So we got a Black Lion Edition 2021 and F Sport 2 2022. Let's hop inside so you guys can have an idea how it looks uh, on the interior. Of course, we got a uh, digital latch doors here and uh, F Sport 2 comes with uh, 14 inch screen. Also, depending where you're located for Canada, at least that's what they uh, come equipped with. For America, it might be a little bit different for the United States. But let's hop inside. I hope my camera will kind of show how, how everything will turn on. Pretty cool, both screen, screens turn on. Welcoming the new owner of the vehicle. Looks like somebody put it in sport mode beforehand. Got a brand new front headlights as well as much as end taillights. Also for Canada, all of them come with the heads up display located here. So you can see, um, I don't know if my camera will tell what you guys can see. Yeah, you can't, but it does show the speedometer and the gear that I'm in. Big screen, you have climate control on the bottom side. and everything else on the other side here. So we have a navigation, music, phone connectivity and vehicle settings here. And brand new digital dash also for these guys. Wireless charger also got located here on the bottom side. Of course we have cup holders armrest and brand new gear selector as well so we have to go on the side and to go in reverse we'll put it forward so it shows the camera and for the drive go on the side and put back and for park we just push p so just like that and for f two you do we do have customizable these arrows so you can change it to the way you like it uh, you can sh make it show music, phone connectivity, all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. Now let's go check out the 2021. The 2021 does feel like it's a little bit, not quite as updated, I would say. So go inside. definitely a difference so we have a mechanical cluster here with the screen in the middle and also the smaller screen 10.3 inch screen inside let's start it up This car is equipped with uh, Lexus original uh, dash cam. That's why it's being spinning when upon startup. So we got a pretty big screen too. I can't call it a smaller screen, but different settings. This is a touch screen, but you also have a trackpad on the by the driver armrest here. Where for the 22NX, it's a completely brand new redesigned screen, so no more 
No more touchpad. The touchpad is the thing of the past, which is located here. In this one, you'll have at your traditional gear selector. So you can go in reverse and then go forward. So that one has been around for a few years and we have a mechanical dash, also customizable too. We have a digital speedometer, all your phone, uh, phone connectivity, car information settings, music and all such, all such things. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, which one you like better and which one would be better for the budget. Everybody's going rooting for 2022 and X, including myself, <laughs> but uh, definitely a big difference in the vehicle. But what much, well, let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe for more videos. More videos incoming.